could be the biggest Black Friday yet, with shoppers expected to spend almost £9 billion in-store and online. But some retailers are opting out of the sales altogether this year, saying discount deals encourage people to buy things they don't need. So is it time shoppers start to think about the environmental impact of their bargain deals? Uh, Judy, let's start with you. What's wrong with Black Friday? I don't think Judy can hear us. James, I'll put that question to you then. What's the matter with Black Friday and getting a good deal? It's a really difficult one for environmentalists, this, because no one wants to be seen to be, um, you know, being downbeat about things that people enjoy. You don't, you don't want to be dictating to people. You don't want to be seen to be preaching and, and being dull and, and, and sort of a bit of a party pooper on this stuff. And, and that makes it really challenging. But the, the, the problem is that the level of consumerism that we see, particularly around Black Friday, particularly when people are buying things that they don't really need, that serve no real function, that are just there as a real short term dopamine hit and that are designed to be used like once or twice in the case of some sort of fast fashion items um, or, or deliberately disposable sort of gifts, um, that does have an environmental impact and it's an environmental impact that you can see very little upside for. So um, it, it's one of the hardest parts of the net zero transition. It's the area that we're probably least, con least confident around how we can tackle uh, the consumerist culture that's so embedded into the way the modern economy works. But it is something where new business models and new approaches are going to have to be developed if we're to deliver sort of the deep cuts and emissions that are needed. And what might those solutions look like then, Judy? Well, some of those solutions really are supply chains and so on and using different kinds of energy in order to produce a product. But I think awareness is the greatest thing. Many people are still not aware, so they actually don't choose. Choosing and campaigning actually has a huge pressure on business to create changes. The other thing, of course, is sheer quantity. We shouldn't buy what we should not need. That is something very simple. So without being able to see the problem or, or, or anything like that, just by buying exactly what is necessary that we need will make an enormous difference in itself. Yeah, I mean, there's a stark figure, isn't there, that up to 80% of Black Friday purchases are, are thrown away after a very short yes. time. But there are some brands, Judy, aren't there, that are going against Black Friday? Yes, a lot of brands are actually saying that we shouldn't be encouraging unnecessary sales and we shouldn't be encouraging people to buy things that damage the planet. And we need to be aware of the vast ranges of damage, not just in terms of emissions, but all sorts of things like plastics. And plastic is actually getting into the food chain. WWF tells us that each one of us every week is now eating plastic the size of our credit card. I mean, that's quite frightening. We don't know the implications yet, but it shows us that if we damage nature, we in the end damage our own lives. And that's a great incentive, incentive to try and do something about it. 